and some say that the Sven continued to hit me until the end of time. Hello guys, this is Wire Guitars, and I do want to keep this video as sensational and effervescent as possible with my calm, soothing voice, just like last time, so I switched the mic. Um, let me know if you approve of it. Um, what I was just demonstrating there was that mischance, at least for Broodmother's Incapacitating Bite, Radiance, and Solar Crest, actually stacks additively um, because it is mischance and not evasion. I'm not entirely sure as to whether or not this is intended, but it is currently working and something you should definitely try around with. Um, I've had great success with it. You can quite literally make one person in a team fight or in the game for that matter never ever ever have the chance of auto attacking ever, which is pretty incredible as you can probably imagine. Um, I do think it's completely apl uh, applicable and viable to do at least on Broodmother, um, although I encourage you to test this out with other heroes such as perhaps Nightstalker or Panda. Um, it's incredibly underrated and it actually makes Broodmother uh, counter some of the heroes that you would think normally counter her, such as specifically Sven. Moving into the mid game, you force him to buy a BKB way sooner than he wants to, or even an MKB, which does effectively nothing for the hero outside of just letting him hit heroes. Um, with the half evasion, which is not really something that he wants to itemize towards. He usually wants to itemize towards not getting kited. That being said, I want to kind of condense this video into a two-fold a double whammy, so to speak. I want to um, show you guys my hotkeys, just because I've gotten so many requests for it, um, for better or for worse. I don't necessarily think that you guys should copy my hotkeys and play the exact same way that I do, but. Uh, you guys have been saying that I've had a lot of success with the hero recently. Um, I'm not trying to toot my own horn by any stretch of the imagination, but 70% win rate doesn't lie. Um, keep in mind it is, uh, you know, more so about, I would assume anyways, I don't necessarily, I, I don't know, maybe I am just abusing stupid overpowered things uh, right now, but I, I don't think that Broodmother's in a particularly overpowered spot. She's a really great hero, fun to play, etc. and so forth, but um, I would like to think that more so than anything else, it's my game sense and my awareness of the hero's uh, potential that is carrying me throughout these games. But if you don't believe me and you think that it's just because I know how to micro heroes, um, then this video is for you, I suppose. <clears throat> So starting off, and I've talked about this many a times before, but I have five hotkeys for when I play Broodmother. I used to have more, uh, but I was able to consolidate it down to five once I realized how kind of silly it was to be using six and seven. Uh, uh, I want to... i got to wait for creeps here, unfortunately. I want to show you uh, pretty much the, the standard, like, if you just start playing this hero, um, what'll get you by... Let's uh, turn free spells on here, and uh, let's turn refresh on. Let's get this going. And I don't know why, if I have free spells on, that it's still giving me a cooldown on my Q, but that's for another time. So, I've got a few spiders here. One of them is a spider right, and I've got my main hero. The essential three hotkeys that I have, um, and I say essential because I don't think it's right to play this hero without at least using these hotkeys. You could probably do it, but I think you're... Um, at the very least, you're risking a potential burden for your team if you end up feeding a lot of spiders because you're, uh, you don't at least have these three hotkeys set up such that you can switch between your main hero and your spiders when you're farming separate uh, locations at, the time, at, a, at a single given time. If you're a Korean god, I guess disregard that statement. But other than that, um, I have a hotkey for my main hero, and that is for my three hotkey. Um, if you don't know anything about control groups, you can basically hold control and set assign it to a number, um, or at least it's a number for me. I went into my um, settings went down to advanced talk keys and there should be uh, next to camera position you got control groups um, I didn't set these because you can just naturally set these if you hold control and assign it to your number uh, especially if for your items I know some people use their numbers for their items like uh, this is one say for instance two three or whatever the heck I don't do that I'm not a fan of that uh, I just use the quick cast of alt I think I actually may have just screwed up my hotkeys can I okay well yeah um, I personally uh, just prefer to use like Alt Q or whatever. I'm not. This isn't supposed to be like a long, overwinded um, guide, as I was mentioning earlier. I kind of want to make this brief and short, and just kind of tell you guys how I play Broodmother, um, and I do that just by playing around with the uh, hotkeys that I was talking about earlier, which is I have a control group for. I guess I didn't actually go this into depth with it, with it but. Um, I, that's so weird that it doesn't let me refresh, but um, it's that I have a hotkey for my hero, I have a hotkey for my spiders, and I have a hotkey for the combination of the two, which means I can control both my hero and my spiders at the same time with one hotkey, and I control my spiders with one hotkey, I can here, control my hero with one hotkey. Um, what I was trying to demonstrate in here is that um, you can set up like a specific hotkey 
uh, for a control group. And then I think what you would do there is like if I had this set to F4 or something, then what I would do is hold control and F4 and that would assign units to that hotkey. So let me just test that out real quick. Yeah, that's what that does. Um, if I push the F4 button right now, it's going to bring me to these. When I when I hold Control and push F4, it will select these units and save them to a certain uh, to the to the F4 hotkey. It's a certain hotkey because it could be whatever hotkey you chose. I personally just put F4 in there. I'm actually going to go back in here. I don't ever use F4, but I'm still going to um um sorry. I'm still going to get rid of this just because I personally I don't know what that there. Just in case I ever end up using it. Um, the meme here is that uh, you just make sure that you have control groups. If you don't know what control groups are, um, I, I hope that I've given somewhat of a decent explanation for them. But if 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 what I have have given you doesn't suffice, please look them up. Um, I, I, I tried to explain them the best I could. Basically, you're just grouping a bunch of units together, and you're assigning them to one certain hockey, such that whenever you push that hockey, you can go back and select those units um, on a dime's notice. You don't have to play around with the minimap and fiddle like, oh, my, 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 my spider's over here. Let me just click this part of the minimap and then select it. Like, no, screw that. Just hit one button, and it brings you snapshots, you straight to the hero, straight to the units, whatever. It's very useful. I would say it's downright mandatory for Broodmother, at least for my own play style, and I... I just can't imagine anybody playing it uh, elsewise. Um, I won't put it past you again if you're a Korean god or whatever. Go for it. But in my personal opinion, it is uh, it's vital to being able to micromanage your spiders and make sure that you can farm efficiently with them, but also keep them alive and make space with them without feeding too much gold. Um, yeah. So. There's that. There's those first three essential ones. I mentioned that I play with five, and I do. Um, I do actually play with five. Some people like they might have five or uh, twelve hotkeys for Chen, but you know they only actually. It's like the they they set them up when they're starting to learn Chen, and then they realize like, oh yeah, I have twelve hotkeys for Chen, but they only actually use like three of them. Um, I actually genuinely use every single one of my hotkeys on Broodmother in every single game on a pretty regular basis. Like, I'd say you snapshot me within five, like, take a five-minute span of time um, of me playing Broodmother at any given point in the game if it's not the exact, the, the really start early uh, game where I can't even make spiders because I'm, like, too busy being passive in lane trying my absolute best to just soak EXP. Um, like, you take 20 to the 20 to 25-minute mark, and I probably pushed all five of the hotkeys that I use over, say, 50 to 75 times just because of how frequently I use them um, each. And that is basically the hotkeys that we were talking about earlier, which is with the one for, um, you, you don't know this, but uh, these are actually, this is a group of spiders. You can group your spiders up like that into one stack, which is pretty useful for like one-shotting supports when they think it's just one spider. Um, these are actually going to time out in a second, unfortunately. I wish there was a way to like prevent that, prevent that in a custom game. What I also wish was a way to prevent was this stupid bug where I apparently just have a cooldown, even though I have free spells. But anyways, so... Uh, as mentioned earlier, I've got the, these three hotkeys where I can control all my units, control just my spiders, control just my big spider, brood mama, and then I have a hotkey for my spiderlings and a hotkey for my spiderites. And what I mean by that is a hotkey specifically for just my spiderlings and a hotkey for specifically just my spiderites. Um, some of you might not even know what the heck I'm talking about, like spiderlings and spider what the heck are those. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's totally fine. It just means you don't play any broodmother. Um, but here you are, man. I'll pop your cherry. Broodmother, when she makes spiders, she's actually actually she makes she makes spiders with her Q, um, as some of you know, but the spiders that come from those spiders are called spiderlings, and the spiderlings have an ability called Spine Spider Ite, which means when you attack them, you apply a when you attack anything and it dies within two seconds of the spiderling attacking it, it will spawn a spiderite. And spiderites, um, we don't actually have any, do we? Um, no, we do. This is so bugged right now. I am actually very disappointed. Oh man, this is like... This is almost rip footage, like like rip as in like I don't even know if I'll be able to use this just because of how stupidly I'd have to like go through and edit everything here because freaking Valve, I don't know, I've been in this custom map for like 42 minutes so maybe I should give him a little bit of slack here, maybe it wasn't meant for this kind of rigorous activity. Um, I have my spider links hockey to set to uh, control 4 and then F5 should be my spider rights. Then we, we do it and that's the meme, okay sick. And so what I was talking about earlier, before I got really interrupted by bugs, was, uh, literally bugs, was um, was I have a hockey for my spiderites, so even though this is only one spiderite, um, just imagine this being like five spiderites, because it's all of my spiderites on this one hockey, and then I have a uh, hockey for just my spiderlings, and again, it's only four, but imagine if I had any given number of spiderlings right now, they would all be moving um, in with, with the uh, touch of this button. The reason for this, right, is because check the spiderlings main stat. 
or uh, base stats. I've got 175 HP. Spider Lings have 450 base HP. Don't ever take the talent, by the way, 200 spider. Oh, fuck that shit, okay? They have 450 health. Um, these guys have 175. Just deal with it, okay? Get good at, get good at like understanding that Spiderites can't take a nuke um, for shit outside of the early game, and you just need to be fragile with them. Why do you need to be fragile with them? Because they speed like they feed like 16 to 20 gold a kill. Um, and when I said a kill, I mean, yes, every single Spiderite that dies, and again, they only have 175 HP and zero base armor, but if one of these dies to anybody, right, it's going to feed him 16 gold. You may be like, ah, 16 gold, who cares, right? But you will care, right? You will care when their supports have enough money to afford gems at, like, five minutes in the game. For proof of concept, right, um... I guess I'll just like this is kind of tedious just because of how much time this is gonna take. It wouldn't it won't it doesn't actually take that long in a real game, but I have to sit here and like just you know, right click. It's it's it takes time in this because I, I wanna have this immediately available and I don't wanna wait because then you guys have to wait and then it makes my video longer and then people say, Oh wired, why do you have long videos? And it's like dog, I'm just trying to show you guys things that take, you know, a little bit of uh, proof of demonstration. So check that out. I just like last hit it like uh you know, four things or whatever. Or I was at least up, um, applying the spider links to killing um, like like five things or whatever, right? I spawned five spiderites from that, uh, four spiderites. That one was uh, from a little while ago, right? Um, this is a hundred gold right here, just walking around, right? And look at how effortlessly it was that I created this this little bundle of spiderites. Um, you will accrue spiderites very very easily, um, whether you like it or not. Actually, I think one of the cool things that they could do to Sprood Mother is turn it, uh, her spawn spiderite ability on spiderlings off at a certain point in time. But that's that's a different discussion for a different video. Um, for now, they're here to stay all game, and they do act as pretty dank wards. I'm not gonna lie, spiderites are kind of throwaway. I mean, not throwaway in the sense that you want to throw 50 of them at a support and let them, you know, use one nuke to get like you know a gem for free. I just mean you can separate them out because they're pretty useless in the mid to late game. Pretty much anything past the early game, and they're not really that good for very much. Um, and feeding one spider light, right? Like one instance of 20 gold or 16 gold for invaluable vision can obviously be worth it. And oftentimes it is worth it. But when you bunch them all together, like imagine if these four spiderlings were actually. Imagine if all the spiderlings that I'm about to spawn were in fact spiderites, right? And you'll and it it quickly becomes obvious. Like imagine if these were all spiderites, right? And it was all it took was one clockwork um, rocket flare to kill all of these. Cause that's I mean that's that's it. If you spawn a clockwork right now, create hero clockwork. I think it's just clock actually. Maybe it's freaking rattle trap. Rattle trap. Dota, are you stupid? You are stupid. All right. 200 damage, right? They have 175 HP. One of one of uh, one max rank rocket flare kills an entire. Uh, 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 brigade, I guess, or sp spawn <laughs> kappa of uh, of spiderites, and that's that's a lot of gold. This would be a lot of gold. This is two pages. That's um eight sixteen, um, that's uh twenty two or this it's twenty. This would be twenty spiderites, and that's a that's a very easy number to accrue, and that's a lot of gold. That's like almost four hundred gold. Um, it's it's like an average between sixteen to twenty. So I've I, and I've mentioned this all before in my videos, so I do apologize if this sounds like really redundant information. But again, I'm just gonna make this one video that I can point back to to say, hey, if you wonder why um, evasion, uh, if you if you're wondering why miss chance stacks additively, or if you're wondering what my hockeys are on brood and why I have my hockeys the way that they are on brood, then just go watch this video. So again, I do apologize for anybody that's heard me say this thousands of times, but apparently I need to repeat it thousands of times. So anyways. Um, Back to the hockeys thing, right? Um, because, I mean, technically, that that's it. Technically, I just have the one hockey for everything, one hockey for spiders, one hockey for main spider, one hockey for um, spiderites, but I don't have any spiderites right now. One one hockey for spiderlings, I'll make one spiderite so you guys can know what I'm talking about when I say I have a one hockey for... There we go. So we have one spiderite right now, so I have one. I have a hockey for that. I have a hockey for the spiderlings. have a hockey for both of them. have a hockey for the main hero. have a hockey for everything. You know, um, even though that's technically all of my hockeys for Broodmother specifically, I know that some of you guys wonder, like, ah, like, what are your item hockeys? Like, uh, what do you do? Do you do quick cast, quick cast or normal cast? So, in general, when I'm playing Dota 2, I have uh, all of my things on quick cast, uh, including items. Uh, it doesn't, again, like, it, this, I have it set to alt Q. You don't need to do alt Q. I've gotten accustomed to alt Q. That's what the game, uh, like, when you first load into Dota and create your very first account and you spawn in as a level one, not level one hero, like, you, you have a level one account, whatever, you know, it's a clarity icon or whatever, you new to Steam or whatever. 2012, 2011, Wire Guitars, uh, just coming fresh out of League of Legends and StarCraft 2, you know, whatever, like, first game of Dota ever. Um, it starts you off with the hotkeys of Alt plus the, um, the, the letter that corresponds. So this would be Q, W, as you can see, E, A, 
S D, um, and it doesn't automatically set it to uh, auto cast or quick cast like I have it, but it is set to the Alt plus that that letter. I've gotten personally, I've gotten accustomed to that, but I do think it's quite distracting. And uh, part of me kind of wants to go over muscle memory and find specific just letters on the keyboard like Z, X, and C or something like that. I use C for my chat wheel, and I use X for um, moving around, like just as a movement command. I use Z for casting some area of effect abilities, like for Broodmother. I use it for casting her spider webs. So I guess there's another little hockey for you in case you were wondering how Wire Guitars plays Broodmother. But I will say that sometimes um, I find it distracting that I have to hit Alt plus a letter for um, my items, and I have thought about how maybe I should just do one big rewipe of my hockeys. Um, I'll probably do it sometime, probably later rather than sooner, and if I do it, I'll probably make a video about it and re remind or, uh, refresh what this video is pretty much telling you. But as of right now, all I have for hockey is very standard, very easy stuff, is what the game kind of starts you with, as I mentioned before, where I have Alt plus a letter for my items. I have them all on Quick Cast, which is not normal, but um, even though it's on Quick Cast, it's still just the st standard Q, W, E, D, F, and R for all of my abilities. And I say standard because quite literally any hero, um, I look, most of these I didn't even change the hero. Uh, you might the If it's highlighted, that means I changed the hockeys in some way. Um, but look, so a lot of these things that I changed the hockey were, uh, hockey for were just um, like AOE abilities that I wanted to have a, a, um, a ridicule for. Um, and I've talked about this also in my Earth Spirit video, but I just wanted to have like a ridicule to, 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 um, to sort of like marginalize my hockey for it. And if that doesn't make any sense, what I'm basically saying is that I want to have a reference point of how large the AOE is. So I still have spawn, I can still hit the W hockey on my keyboard to quick cast the webs. Um, if that probably didn't explain it, I can still just hit W and it'll quick cast it, but I can also hit Z and get the a area of effect just for like my own personal, like, um, lining up the shot, so to speak. Um, you know, it's, it's useful to know the exact AOE and see like, oh, is it just going to barely grace that tree? Okay. That's good. I can use that. Um, I bounce be, I have bounced back and forth between, um, using quick cast and using normal cast when I have area of effect abilities like this. Um, but just know that I do that for some heroes, uh, maybe more, more than just some, you can look this, look at this and tell me if that's a lot of heroes. Um, some of these heroes I don't actually even play. So like, uh, for instance, um, if I played sniper, I probably would have, a um, shrapnel, I would have a, 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 I'd probably put this on Z so I could quick cast it with Q, but then I'd also have a nice AOE ridicule that I could pull up for Z. And, uh, I guess, yeah, nice. I just made a, made my sniper a little bit better in case I ever play him. I've literally like never played that hero. Um, anyways though, um, because that's, that's important, but I think I got that out of the way pretty much. I hope I described that pretty well. Um, yeah, like I said, I have quick cast on all of my items and how that's relevant is that I can just quick cast solar crest. I don't need to like push it and then get a, get the, get this thing up because as useful as it is to have, um, area of effect abilities on normal cast such that you can see the ridicule, it's not really so useful for quick cast abilities or it's not so useful for point and click abilities that just latch onto the target. So like, I don't really need to see the confirmation button. Let me just, I don't need to see this um, little ridicule, uh, for, for accuracy purposes, right? I'm just, I, I'm just going to point and click and it's going to hit the spin, right? Obviously, sometimes you'll have those games where you'll doom a creep and, uh, it's because your shit's on quick cast and you'll accidentally, you'll look at the creep and then you'll look at the hero, the hero's right here and the creep's right here and you'll quick cast and, oh my god, I just doomed a creep. But, but to those games, I just say get good and get get accurate, you know, with your mouse. Um, for the most part, I, I just be confident with yourself and use quick cast because it makes your movements more um, more focused and more centered. Um, one thing actually dating back to this little interaction that I guess I didn't mention earlier is you might be like, oh, Wired, uh, you know, this is all cool and dandy that you can constantly make the spend miss. Um, but what happens when Solar Crest is on cooldown or whatever the heck? Oh, now it works? That's so backwards. Free spells is on. And it doesn't work. That's so weird. Anyways, you might be like, what happens when you lose the solar crest? Like for that one instant in between your solar crest coming off cooldown and you not being able to reapply it because it's seven second cooldown, seven second duration. Well, Broodmother's lucky enough and fortunate enough to have a 20% CDR reduction, reduction talent, which means that you can always apply it on the target. Because, in case you didn't know, when this, when your solar crest goes from applying a mischance to applying evasion for yourself, watch, the Sven will actually hit you. He'll hit me eventually here. It's going to take him a while because he still has a lot of mischance on him. But see, evade, evade, evade. Ooh, I got hit there. The reason I got hit is because even though mischance, like I mentioned earlier, and I proved earlier, stacks additively, evasion plus mischance stacks multiplicatively. So I'm dealing 60% mischance plus 17% mischance. 
multiplied by 25% mischance. I probably should have, like, maybe I'll edit that out and put it at the start of the video, just in case, like, people are curious. I, I don't know. Uh, I You should watch this entire video. Uh, I mean, you're already watching the entire video. Never mind. It is, this is an important video. Is uh, I'm trying to be educational, and I think that I'm conveying a lot of important ideas, just in case somebody's curious about my method as to how I play Broodmother and stuff. Um, and a lot of people inquire that kind of information, so I'm just giving it to you. So, yeah. This wasn't a chore, hopefully, for many of you. Maybe it was. I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not your mom. You you tell me if it was a, if it was a chore to watch, and maybe I'll care. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you all. Um... I think I kind of went over everything. Uh, like I said, the 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 hotkey thing. You know, I guess I could get real nitty gritty here and be like, oh yeah, specifically like I have a move command set to X. You might not even have this set, or if you do, it might be set to M because I think the default hotkey for that is M. Um, I could sit here and go through every single one of my hotkeys for you guys, but I I, I just gave you guys kind of the notable framework, right? Um, I have a camera grip hotkey, for instance, which I actually just recently assigned uh, about a month or two ago, and I've been loving it ever since. Camera grip is how you grab the camera with a certain button on your mouse or keyboard, and you can move the camera with that um, in mind. So uh, you'll notice I'm not edge panning. Edge panning is when you put your mouse to the edge of the of the camera. Um, or of your of your screen to move the camera. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just grabbing the camera with my mouse and moving it around. That's a very useful, I guess, hotkey that I set up on my mouse. But I, I, you don't. I, who cares? Like, like what you care about. Hopefully, if you're asking for my broodmother hotkeys, hopefully what you mean by that is what hotkeys do I have set up for my spiders, uh, spiderlings, spider. Uh, like, what, what hotkeys do I use for the main hero that set her apart from any other hero? Most of, um, and th th I guess the whole point of me telling you this, because you might be like, why are you telling us all this? But you're just dragging out the video. What I'm telling you is that hotkeys much outside of the core concepts of the hero, like capturing why you need certain hotkeys for certain elements of the hero, like you need more than just one hotkey if you're going to play a Meepo effectively. Um, that's probably true for 99% of players, right? And and I and me telling you that and me telling you my specific hotkeys can help you be a better Meepo. But me telling you like, oh yeah, also for playing Broodmother um, in every hero in Dota, you should set a camera grip hotkey. Like some of that's quality of life, some of that's um, personalized, some of that's just kind of those things where I have them set and I can tell you about them if you don't know about them. Like, if you don't know what the camera grip hotkey is, now you do. Now I gave you an explanation. Maybe you'll try it out. Maybe you'll say, wow, Wired, I didn't know what the camera grip hotkey is. But because you told me about it and because I tested it out in-game, I now know what it is, and I now know what it does, and it makes my gameplay better. Like, that's great. But if you're wondering, like, Wired, uh, I gotta know, man, because Broodmother's a very hard hero. What is your chat-to-team hotkey? Because I have it on return, but whenever I'm playing Broodmother, I feel like that hotkey just gets in my way. So should I change? Like, no, I don't... Dude, honestly, you're thinking about it too much okay hotkeys do not dictate your broodmother gameplay um much outside of capturing the core concept of the hero okay and i, I want to stress that point and um very very uh very very adamantly and aggressively because like yes you need to, uh, yes in my opinion you need hotkeys to play this hero effectively but outside of understanding that you just need separate hotkeys for your spiders so that you don't feed them too much and um and stuff like that you should be working on the mechanics in game you should be trying your absolute best to find out your own hotkeys you shouldn't be trying to adapt my hotkeys not because i don't have the answer to the best hotkeys but just because hotkeys are a personalized thing you know you might try out my hotkeys and it'll take you like six months to realize that you just learned hotkeys that are incredibly uncomfortable my hand's huge as crap look at that look at that big ass hand man it's a big hand um I, I'm just kidding. This is depth perception. You don't know how big this is. This could be the size of a toothpick for all you know, right? It's the internet. But what I'm really trying to convey here is what's comfortable to me isn't necessarily going to be what's comfortable to you. And so I don't want you to get the wrong idea if I sit here and go over the, my, all my hockeys for everything and my, my scoreboard hockey and stuff like that. And, you know, you copy everything down and you realize, wow, this just aren't working for me. I don't know why I ever copied this idiot's hockeys. It's because hockeys are a pretty personalized thing. And outside of, again, outside of capturing the core concept of the hero, um, you, need to, you need to focus more so on just making the hockeys work for what you think is most comfortable. Practice around test around that's what i did that's what most people do is they just test around and see what's comfortable for them um and see what you like you know uh if if you're looking for a shortcut to like hotkeys you're doing it wrong and i know that sounds a little bit like an oxymoron but really like you need to find out what's most comfortable for you so that you just try out different hotkeys until you see what works um if you're hockey strapped and by hockey strapped i mean you're like you're actually just starved for keys to hit for hotkeys like i am somewhat because i can't assign a hockey for like all the items that i want to use that's one of the reasons why i haven't changed my item hockeys yet then just try to think of combinations of things that work, um, like N plus H. Um, I don't know if that, I probably shouldn't get out of here. But um, you can do things like that, you know, you can, you can like, um, similar to how um, for the item thing that up here, like Alt plus D, you can do things like that and, and combine hotkeys and stuff like that, or Shift plus Return or whatever. Anyways.
this video has gone off on long enough. I hope that somebody's somebody somewhere found this relaxing. But more importantly, because this wasn't so much supposed to be a relaxing video, and I don't even know if I'm going to keep that meme alive, um, I hope this was an educational video, um, and I hope that I showed a few things off that maybe you didn't know about. But more importantly, I, th I hope that I kind of maybe dispelled some myths about the mischance uh, stacking additively, as I mentioned it did, as, as I have mentioned that it does many a times before. Hopefully, this once and for all settles that qualm. And then more importantly, even than that, because this is the thing, because this might get fixed as a bug. I don't know if this is considered a bug. But more importantly than that, I maybe conveyed some information about hotkeys that you haven't really thought about before. So. Anyways, whether I did or didn't do that, I'm getting out of here. You guys have a great night or day slash whatever it is, time it is for you. Um, and thank you very much for watching.